back over here for me. See my tip of my pin right here? This pad under you. Three. Congrats. Take nine steps, talk or count them out loud. All right, my man, hop on out. Watch that head. I won't let you smack it. There we go. All right, this is where we're going. It's going to be our door. All right, what I need you to do is have a seat right here on this bench. We've got people coming in here that will um, start the process of getting you booked in, OK? OK, why don't you stand up for me? Face that wall. Spread your feet apart. Farther. Take a step back. You have anything on you that's going to poke me, stick me, or injure me? No. Nothing at all? Nothing sharp? No. Anything illegal on you? No. OK, I'm going to check all your pockets. OK, I'm going to take the handcuffs off. Once I take the cuffs off, I want you to place your hands on the top of your head. Leave them up there. Do not move them. Do you understand? Yeah. Place your hand on your head. Leave it there. Once we get done with this, we're going to start the fingerprinting and picture process. Do you have any questions? No. Place your other hand on top of your head. OK. Have a seat back on the bench, please. OK, you chose a breath test. We have a machine inside this room right over here that you're going to come in and take a test. Come with me, please. All right. Walk right down this hall. Go ahead and have a seat right inside here, please. Right here? Yeah. OK, I'm going to hold the machine. What I want you to do is take a deep breath. You're going to blow steadily in the mouthpiece till I tell you to stop. You understand that? Yeah. Blow in there. All right, stand up. Let's go. We're going to cell number three. Stand in front of the door, face the door. Okay, do you have any questions? No. All right, have a seat. Moss is representing Mr. Torres and... We are, Your Honor, yes. And we do. No, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Your Honor. We're here today for the sentencing hearing of my client, Mr. Rito Torres. Rito is a young man. He's a senior at Washington Union High School, and he was just recently accepted to Fresno State University with ambitions to major in IT, our future ahead of him. Rito understands that his decisions that day led to the needless and tragic loss of life. He made many mistakes that day. Rito takes responsibility for his actions. He knows, as he sits here today, that he could have made different choices. That each step along the way, the regret and the pain and the sorrow over the damage and pain that he has caused to the family and to his friends. Your Honor, my client is well liked among his peers. He's a nice young man. He did not mean to hurt anyone that day. He's the first one that will tell you that if he had the chance to apologize to those who were lost, he would do so immediately. Your Honor, as you sentence my client today, I ask you that you would consider his youth, that you would consider the future that he still has ahead of him, that you would consider the fact decisions. And Your Honor, also present here in court today is Rito's mother, Erica Torres, and we would like to give her an opportunity to speak. And on behalf of the people, do you wish to be heard? He knew it was reckless, 
and dangerous. And Your Honor, with that said, at this time, I would like to offer my client, Rito Torres, an opportunity to address the court. Your Honor, I would like to apologize to the parents of Sofia Ruiz, Jackie Costa, and Emiliano Aranda. I wish I had made different choices that day, and it was a mistake that I will never repeat. I'm deeply sorry. The court has read and considered. The court will start out by stating that Torres is young. He appears to academically do well, but I cannot overlook the aggravating factors. You had an extremely high blood alcohol level of 0.18 and another individual being paralyzed. The effects are devastating for the families. I'm going to deny probation and order that you are sentenced to be committed to the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. So spoke, I hope this brings closure to everyone involved and I will order Mr. Torres remanded.